If you're one of those people who've noticed a serious battery drain since upgrading to the Samsung One UI, well today's video is all about stopping that battery drain, showing you tips and tricks of how you can fix that and get some more juice out of your phone. Let's do it. Okay, in today's video we're going to look at a whole bunch of power saving tips that you can do on your Samsung One UI that will work with the Note 9, it will work with the S8, it will work with the S9. Let me show you what you need to know. Right, let's start with a couple of the basics. Firstly, we know this by now, but a lot of people just simply forget to do this. It's just simply disable things that you don't need to have running right now. For example, my Bluetooth, I don't need that in at the moment. To enable it, I simply tap it. NFC, I never leave on because there's no reason to. I leave it on when I need to use it to pair up with my camera, for example. So very, very quickly, just simply do this. This is old stuff. You should know this by now. Another tip to be able to do this is go into your settings. Then what we're going to do is we're going to look for something called device care. Now, under device care, press the three little dots, click on auto optimization and make sure this is enabled. Once a day, it will close down applications that are not in use. It will stop services that are not supposed to be running and optimize your device. When your device is optimized, it means your battery runs better. Now, it will not do it if you're busy using your phone. So if your screen is on, you're using your phone, you're perfectly fine. What I normally like to do is basically set a time. I know it's charging. It's going to leave it at 4 a.m., optimize my phone at 4 a.m. I'm not using that or I shouldn't be using it at 4 a.m. Another option, three little dots, go into auto restart. This is very important. A lot of us simply plug our phone in at night, don't touch it till the next day, switch it on, it's fully charged, and now we just simply use it for the rest of the day, and we do it again and again and again. What auto restart does is that whenever you schedule it, it's going to actually switch your entire phone off and then switch it back on again. Now, obviously, when you do that, you're not going to be able to use your phone. It's simply rebooting. So again, I'd like to schedule this for something like three in the morning on a Wednesday, some arbitrary time. Now, your phone will only restart when the screen is off, the phone isn't being used, the battery is above 30%, and the SIM card lock is off. So as long as you meet those criteria, your phone will simply auto restart and that is a very very good thing to do simply just leave it on again and again and again it doesn't give the phone operating system a chance to clear out the stuff that it doesn't need to be using it simply just drains the battery so enable auto restart very very important now if you go into battery you've got something called power mode there are four different power modes to choose from high performance optimized medium power saving maximum power saving each one of them will come with its own nuances. So maximum power saving, it's gonna restrict background apps, it's gonna turn off always on display, limit the CPU, reduce the brightness. And you can say, I wanna have the maximum power saving, but I don't want you to switch off the always on display, for example. So you can customize it a little bit to how you would like. I normally leave mine on optimized. Well, I simply don't want the lag and I know that I'll be fine. I go into maximum power saving mode only when I'm desperate and I know I'm not going to get to a charger for quite a while. Another feature where you can save the power is simply by going into enabling the night mode. You can see I'm in night mode at the moment. This is the difference. There is night mode. When you don't enable night mode, you see how much brighter your screen is. Brighter your screen, the more battery that basically it consumes. So I always enable night mode, but there's another thing to do. What you can also do is go into certain apps and like YouTube, for example, go into your three little dots, click on settings, click on general and enable the dark theme because if this is what the dark theme looks like when it's on. This is what it looks like when it's off. You can see again, just draining the battery. So any application that allows you to have a dark mode theme, make sure you go ahead and enable that. So here on YouTube, I can see now it's in dark mode. So another thing that you can do on your phone is play with animations now in the previous day you had to go into the developer mode and then restrict animations that way but samsung has made it much easier for the rest of us to do this so here's what i mean when you see when you open up something like instagram see how it zooms in and zooms out right see that now when you do that again all that requires some processing power you can reduce the animation by going into settings going into the advanced features and then look for an option called reduce animations. 
Now, let me show you what that looks like. You can see how it just pops open versus You can clearly see the difference. And by the way, this will apply to any way that does this animation. So even when I'm closing this, see how I'm closing the screen? It will disappear. Now it's instant. Also, it makes your phone just feels a lot faster as well. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching another one of the videos. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. If you're new here and you're into phones, gadget apps, tips and tricks and all that good stuff, hit the head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other videos down here and I'll see you on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.